Okay, air signs. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general, may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Dina signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So air signs, this is a read based off the elements. However, they are individual. So you will be getting a separate Gemini, a separate Libra, and a separate Aquarius reading within this reading, okay? So starting with Gemini, being the first air sign and the zodiac, let's go. What do I have for Gemini? Spirit, what is the energy for Gemini? Okay. 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 So bottom of the deck here. For you as the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries, but this is all about moving forward. Okay, moving into your own. Okay. Not letting anybody stop you, not letting anything to stop you. The King of Cups, especially now the Cancer Pisces of Scorpio. Okay, or your emotions. This is getting in control of them damn things. Yeah, King of Swords. Definitely getting in control of your emotions. Drawing a line on how emotional you're going to get with either a situation or a person. Maybe you don't give a fuck anymore. Okay? Yeah, the Hierophant could be a Taurus. You don't give a fuck no more. Maybe it's about relationships in general. Like, I don't care. Okay? I'm just really here when I don't care. It's a really uncaring energy. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? Eight of Swords. I feel like you used to stress about this a lot. Ace of Swords, and so you got some type of clarity that you were a bad bitch, Queen of Wands, or you know, a hot guy, hot boy. And with the King of Swords, you detached because they didn't know who the fuck you were. I feel like they may have had had you questioning yourself in the past, but I don't feel like you're questioning yourself anymore. You're standing in the power of knowing who the fuck you are and standing on it, okay? And with the King of Swords here twice, I feel like not only are you detaching from this person, but you're detaching from the idea of needing a relationship or a person. Yeah, the devil card. You're cutting out the devil, the toxicity. I heard the need to know. So, all right, tell me more. Yeah, four of cups. I feel like this person may have even rejected you in the past. There's a sense of rejection here, the world card, and you let it go. Could have been a, a Capricorn here. Or this could be you letting this person go because you feel like they're not giving you what you want. There's not a cups here. You feel like this person is never going to give you what you want, which is a relationship, a marriage, something serious, something stable, something committed, better than these regular relationships that you've been getting. But with the five of wands, there seems to be too much conflict between you two. Yeah, the empress. There may be because somebody else is in the way. It could be some type of third party here. The empress is here. Eight of wands, yeah. This person may be going back and forth between you and somebody else. You know that. It could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Yep, two of pentacles. Going back and forth, back and forth between you and somebody else. So, Gemini, I see you saying fuck this person. Most definitely, because I feel like this person is very off and on with you. And I feel like at first you were stressed about it, but now you're in control of your emotions and you could give fucks less. OK, and it's only because you started to realize what this person was doing. Maybe at first you were trying to, you know, kind of questioning yourself like, damn, do they are they not attracted to me? You know, do they not feel like I'm smart enough or have enough? Now you're starting to work wonder that now you're starting to realize, I'm sorry, that it had nothing to do with you, but everything to do with this person and how they were feeling about somebody else. Okay, so let's see. What is the advice for Geminis? Advice for Geminis? Advice for my Geminis. The full card. Take that leap of faith into something brand fucking new. Yeah, 10 of wands. Drop the old shit. Move forward, but take your time. Now it's time for you to be selfish with you, okay? All right, Geminis. So, Libra. Libra. What is the energy for Libras? Energy for Libras. Energy for Libra. Energy for Libra. Energy for Libra. 
energy for Libra. Energy for Libra. Energy for Libra. Okay, so the current energy for Libra is the Page of Wands. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Something new and passionate may be coming into you while you're single. Or minding your fucking business, working on your own stability. The Empress. Could be another Libra or a Taurus. Or this could be you knowing your worth. Okay. Miss Dang. Mr. Sir. Okay. <laughs> With the Queen of Pentacles, yes, knowing your fucking worth, okay? Knowing what you have to offer, knowing that you're good with or without somebody. The hangman. And sitting on that, standing on that, okay? Because, it, see, this is the balance here. I know I'm, a, I'm good. I know I'm good. I know I don't need nobody. I know I don't need shit. But I'm willing to hear other people out. I'm willing to date other people. I'm willing to deal with the peasants, I heard. So some of y'all feel like y'all dealing with people below you. And you probably are if you're at Empress status. Okay. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here for Libra? Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Look at, I told you, you know your fucking worth. You got the Queen of Pentacles here twice, so you definitely got the bag. Okay. Definitely got the bag. Definitely in your fucking feelings. Okay, definitely know how to deal with people, know how to love people, know how to provide. And I feel like you're looking for somebody to reciprocate that with you. Okay, because you don't want no bullshit. You want a relationship yarn and you're not settling. Okay. Could be dealing with the Capricorn Virgo or Taurus. Somebody, I feel like you're waiting on your moment, I heard. So you're waiting for that right one. Okay, or you're waiting for the right one to step up and do more. But there's some type of waiting involved here for somebody to step up and, and put in the work. Mm-hmm. This person could be a truck driver for some of y'all that y'all dealing with. For others of you, this could be somebody that likes nice, fast cars. Maybe they spend too much time or too much money on them cars. Maybe you're starting to wonder what this person does when they're outside or when they're not with you. Okay, because they have a nice car. You know, bitches love nice cars. Okay, but others of you, it's like you feel like this person is always on the go and they're never paying attention to you or never giving you what you want and what you deserve here. Why is the hangman here? The four of cups. I feel like you're trying to realize why certain things don't happen for you. But I don't feel like you need to worry. With the five of wands here, you're doing what's best for you. You're fighting for what you believe. And if something ain't right, it ain't right. Five of cups. Don't lower your standards because you're sad or you're hurt. And yeah, because you want a relationship and you feel like it's not coming. With the King of Wands, you also know what the fuck you deserve. Okay? So you showing up as, as the Queen of fucking Cups, the Queen of Pentacles twice, and the King of Wands. And you're wondering why you feel like people are peasants. Your energy is of being very masculine and nurturing your feminine as well. People who don't even know who the fuck they are, yet you're, you're, you are getting all of every aspect or element that creates man together. Only thing you're missing, you got the pinnacles, the cups, the clarity, which is crazy because you're a fucking air sign. You're missing the, the clarity, you're missing something. Logically, it's something not clicking here. What is it that Libra is missing? Look at this, the seven of swords, the lies, the cheating, the betrayal. You miss that part every fucking time, huh? You get everything except the fact that you're being lied to. You know everything except that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Libra. That's exactly how it came out, though. And that's a sword card. It's the only thing you didn't have was sword cards. Okay, so let's get the uh, outcome for you. I mean, advice. Advice. Advice for Libra, Spirit. Advice for Libra. Advice for Libra. The strength card. The lovers. Could be a Gemini or a Libra that you're dealing with. I mean, a uh, uh, Leo. There's a need for you to be more loving, caring, and nurturing to somebody in your relationship or situation that you've been holding back from. I feel like that's where the Six of Pentacles or the equal give and take is going to come in at. You actually being more loving and caring to this person. 
Maybe that's the one thing that this person feels like they're missing from you is emotions. All right. You guys need to have a talk too. Clarity is fucked up for y'all. Okay. So last but never the least, Aquarius. What is the energy for Aquarius? Energy for Aquarius spirit. Energy for Aquarius. Energy for Aquarius. Energy for Aquarius. Energy for Aquarius. Okay. All right. So the energy for you guys in the near future is the Three of Cups. Either getting back with somebody and trying to work something out or trying to explain your feelings to somebody and offer them some type of stability. Queen of Pentacles, willing to take care and nurture this person. The Emperor, to get things moving, okay? Trying to, trying to get things on a level where you can control them or deal with them. With the King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles here, I don't know how easy that's going to be because somebody feels like they are who they are and it is going to be what they is going to be, okay? Hmm. Something about your feminine and your masculine energy is showing up as very prominent here while somebody is just in their masculine, masculine and they don't know how to be a little softer. I feel like this person is afraid to be vulnerable because they are very sensitive and they are very soft. Three of Cups here again. I feel like you're trying to take the initiative to get back with somebody, trying to show them how much you love them and how much you care. But with the Seven of Wands here, this person doesn't give a fuck about what you're doing. All right, this person is very toxic. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Could be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio here. It seems like this person does take part in whatever it is that you want to do. But it's almost like the giver and the taker type of energy. Like, when the fuck do they really give back to you? Emperor is here. I feel like you feel like it's okay. Okay? Maybe I'm talking to a masculine energy here. Emperor clarifying definitely a masculine energy. Emperor clarifying the emperor with the strength. I feel like you're trying not to do something, but you're still doing it. Or you know you shouldn't be doing something with somebody, but you're still doing it. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. Being too loving and too caring and too nurturing to somebody who's lying to you with the Seven of Swords. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles. This person has somebody else. They're juggling you with other things. Doesn't necessarily have to be a person. However, I do feel like it is with the Seven of Swords being right here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. They they want the stability with you, but Five of Swords, they also play mind games with somebody else. Maybe leading this person on, telling them that they're going to be with them, and then ghosting them the Hermit card. Ooh, your person is a piece of work, huh? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Yeah, the, uh, what you don't know is what the fuck this person is holding back from you. But I'm also getting the energy of what you don't know won't hurt you. Okay, some of y'all don't even give a fuck to know. Yeah, Ten of Cups, because you feel like you already have this person's heart. Page of Cups, and I don't feel like you know to have. With the Ace of Swords here, you're about to find out something, though. It may hurt your feelings a little bit, because I feel like this person hasn't been being that honest with you. About some things and some people. Shit. One second, you guys. All these motherfucking cards and this motherfucking deck. Motherfucker. Alright. Okay. So, let's get some advice for you guys. Oh, oh I almost fucked up my deck. Why? Why are you here? Nobody's supposed to be here. Okay, so. Outcome. Outcome for my Aquarius. Outcome. Okay. Knight of Cups. Take it. Uh, be careful that you're not being uh, led along here. Yeah, Eight of Cups. So like somebody may be leading you on, Pisces. Giving you some type of false hope here. Yeah, the strength card. I feel like this person doesn't really want to do what you want them to do, but they're doing it. 
with the Queen of Wands because they know that you're very passionate. But look at this, Ten of Swords. Unexpected ending, you guys. I felt like that. Be careful you're not dealing with the user here. King of Pentacles is somebody that's all about finances and money and stability, which sounds okay when the person actually is not with you for that, when they love you and they want stability with you. This person doesn't really have a lot of love here. This person has more of a, ooh, what can I get they could do for me type of thing, you know? Like a kid waiting for their mother to buy shit all the time when they go to the store. Every time they go outside, can I get one? Spirit is saying, you do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. All right. Thank you.